Welcome to Hockey Whiz Talks Podcast. I'll be talking about the infamous contract dispute between Pavel Bore and the Vancouver Canucks. In this podcast, I'll be talking about the contract dispute between Pavel Bore and the Vancouver Canucks. Pavel Bore's arrival in Vancouver is a significant moment in the history of Vancouver Canucks and the NHL. Pavel Bure, who is often referred to as the Russian Rocket, was a highly talented and exciting Russian hockey player known for his incredible speed and goal scoring ability. Bore was selected by the Vancouver Canucks in the 6th round of the 1989 NHL Entry Draft. However, he did not make his NHL debut until the 1991-92 season due to various obstacles including delays in getting permission to leave the Soviet Union. His arrival in Vancouver created a lot of buzz and excitement for Vancouver Canucks fans. He quickly became a fan favorite with his electrifying style of play and ability to score highlight real goals. Bure's speed and scoring prowess made him one of the most exciting players in the NHL during the early 1990s. Pavel Bure had a remarkable career with the Vancouver Canucks and set numerous records during his time with the team. Here are some of his notable records and achievements with the team. Bure holds the franchise record for most goals in a single season. He accomplished this feat twice during his Canucks career, scoring 60 goals in the 92-93 season and 51 goals in the 93-94 season. These records still stand today. In his rookie season, the 91-92 season, Bure set a Canucks rookie record for goals and points. He scored 34 goals and tallied 60 points, earning him the Calder Trophy as the NHL's Rookie of the Year. Bore holds the Canucks record for most hat-tricks in a single season. He recorded 5 hat-tricks during the 92-93 season. In postseason play, Bore is the Canucks all-time leader in playoff goals with 34. He was a key contributor during Vancouver's run to the 1994 Stanley Cup Finals. Bore's points per game average with the Vancouver Canucks is among the highest in franchise history. And his impact on the team's offense was truly remarkable. And now a word from our sponsor. Check out my scouting blog at HockeyWiz777Scouting.com. Listen to my scouting blog podcast on podcasters.spotify.com backslash pod backslash show backslash HockeyWiz777Scouting. Despite the great times that Pavel Bure had in Vancouver, it gets somewhat overshadowed by an infamous contract dispute with the club. Pavel Bure had a contract dispute with the Vancouver Canucks that significantly impacted his tenure with the team. The dispute primarily revolved around his second contract with the Canucks and was a continuous issue in the late 90s. Bure's initial contract with the Canucks was a rookie contract that he signed after he defected from the Soviet Union and joined the team in the 1991-92 season. This contract was relatively modest compared to the massive deals some other star players were signing in the NHL. As Bure's star continued to rise, he saw a new contract that would reflect his status as one of the league's premier players. He wanted a substantial raise and a long-term commitment from the Canucks. Negotiations between Bure's representatives and Canucks management became protractive and contentious. Bure sought a contract that would make him one of the highest paid players in the NHL. Unable to make an agreement on a new contract, Pavel Bure staged a holdout. He refused to report to training camp and missed the beginning of the 97-98 NHL season. The holdout extended into the regular season and Bure missed a significant portion of games. Eventually, the NHLPA filed a grievance on Bure's behalf, claiming that the Canucks had breached the term of his previous contract. The case went to arbitration, and in January 1998, an arbitrator ruled in Bure's favor, awarding him a new contract that made him one of the highest paid players in the league at the time. Despite the resolution of a contract dispute, tensions between Bure and the Canucks remained, and he was eventually traded to the Florida Panthers in January 1999, ending his tenure in Vancouver. With the Vancouver Canucks, Pavel Bure's scoring ability and speed made him one of the most dynamic players in the NHL. He consistently ranked among the league leaders in goals and points and was the key factor in the team's success, particularly during their run to the 1994 Stanley Cup Finals. During the regular season, Bore notched 254 goals and 478 points in 428 games, a 1.12 points per game average, and was a plus 128. In the playoffs, he scored 34 goals and 69 points in 60 games, and was also over a point per game as well. 
Pavel Bure's contribution to the Vancouver Canucks are celebrated to this day, and his statistics reflect his status as one of the franchise's all-time greats, despite his infamous contract dispute, which ultimately led to his departure from the team. Check out my hockey blog at hockeywithtalkshockey.blogspot.com. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at hockeywith777. In the next podcast, I'll be talking about Ilya Kovalchuk's contract dispute with the New Jersey Devils.